mzee au kuingia kwenye anga zake baada hapo tutarejea Emmanuel naam mtu yeyote ambaye anapanga atikuiba pesa ya serikali my friend tafuta nchi nyingine mimi nimewaambia hao wakora wote wezi wote matapeli nimesema hawa watu mambo yao ni tatu si ndio either wahame Kenya ama waende jela ama waende mbinguni hakuna dawa nyingine sijui kama naelewana mnataka mtu akuja aibe pesa yetu hapa mimi nalete pesa hapa 500 million inapotea nalete 1 billion inapotea 500 kwani sasa hapana hapana ikai namna hiyo sijui kama tumeelewana mmekubali wezi wote tuwafukuze maneno ya wezi ni ngapi wahame Kenya waende jela ama waende mbinguni maneno hiyo imeishi hapo tumekubaliana jamii serikali ya Kenya tutaweka investment kwa Ken Development ya Nzoia na kampuni zile zingine number one. na number two, tutaweka investment kwa mill ambayo itasiaga upya kwa sababu ile mill iko hapa ni ya 1978 imezeeka imeoza ime na kwa hivyo haifanyi kazi vile inataka ifanyike tumeelewana so ya kwanza mbili tumemaliza ya tatu hii madeni ikiondoka mimi naweka pesa ya Ken Development mimi naweka pesa ya kununua mili mpya lakini management lazima tubadilishe management lazima tubadilishe sio kama tunaelewana lazima tubadilishe kwa sababu hakuna vile serikali inaweza kuendesha hii kampuni jameni si tumejaribu lakini imeshindikana Miwa ya wananchi inaletwa hapa inasagwa mwananchi mwenyewe mkulima hajalipwa mfanyikazi hajalipwa e, sukari imeuzwa sasa mnaona hiyo plan iko kombo sasa tutakubaliana tunaelewana na tutakubaliana model ya management kwa sababu hata hii nucleus peke yake inaweza kuendesha hii kampuni kulipa madeni ya kampuni hii ili mkulima akilete miwa yake analipwa mara moja sio kama tunaelewana na nyinyi mnajua kampuni ya West Kenya iko hapa haina madeni inalipa wakulima kampuni ile ya Kibos inalipa wakulima kampuni ya Butali inalipa wakulima kwa hivyo miwa haina makosa kuna makosa kwa management si ndio kwa sababu kama kampuni ya private inafanya kazi mbona kampuni ya serikali iko na kisirani na iko na madeni na ilibi wakulima na ilibi wafanyakazi sijui kama tunaelewana kwa hivyo what we have agreed we are going to have a new management model that is going to serve the public and is going to serve farmers and is going to serve the private sector na sisi wote tumekubaliana na mimi ndio nitasimamia si mimi ndio mlipatia maneno eh sasa nyinyi mtaniuliza ama namna gani Yes I will take responsibility ya kwamba tutalete hapa management ambaye tutakubaliana na sio wafanyikazi wa serikali mimi hapana unajua kama serikali haiwezi imeshindwa kuendesha si tunatafuta watu wa private sector waendeshe so tutakubaliana we will have private sector management of this uh, facility to make sure that we eliminate matters of incompetence na ile mambo ingine yote tumekubaliana Meanwhile kwa sababu tunataka kupiga moto hii, hii gari. Meanwhile tumesema tuanze Ken Development kwa Nucleus hapa. Na tumetoa pesa ya Ken Development kwa Nucleus na tutapanga vizuri mpaka hii kampuni in the next one year it must be operating the way other companies are operating. Na hiyo kununua hiyo facility mpya we are going to sit down with a new management from the private sector how we are going to have a new mill that is going to serve the farmers and the people of this county and the people of Kenya Emmanuel sisi kama tutaweka bidii kwenye sekta
ya miwa ndio <laughs> lakini pia Emmanuel usimsikie mm. mheshimiwa rais <coughs> rais amezungumza pale amepeana vitisho eh uh, yeye anasema anapenda katiba ndio katiba hiyo hiyo ya mwaka 2010 mm. si katiba ya vitisho ndio ni katiba ya haki za kibinadamu eh kila mtu ana haki eh hadi ile haki of fair trial mm. ya kwamba ukipatikana na kosa mm. umeua but you have a right to a fair trial Dio. before uh, in a court of law sawa sawa kwa hivyo article 